When I went to school as myself, parts of the day were good and parts of the day were bad. And I was like wearing a nice pretty dress and like wearing earrings and I felt really happy. Then like many people were like, Rock, why are you wearing a dress? What happened to you? You're a boy, what happened? But my sister always stood up for me and then my teacher came up to me and she was like, someone just told me you were the coolest outfit ever. And then someone said, it's good that you're you and that made me happy. So the good overcame the bad. I wanted her to tell me who she was as opposed to me suggesting because I was fearful and had this ignorant idea that I, I could influence her as if I could have forced a boy to wear a dress. No, that doesn't happen. But still, I just waited for her to better articulate herself. It starts so much at home. Sorry, I'm getting emotional because it completely blows me away to see little kids today that are um, that were in my position, like are heard and are respected and completely allowed to be their best and happiest self. I really wanted to be what my mother wanted me to be. So I went to college and I tried to date a guy. It lasted about four days. Ultimately, I didn't realize that she was going to love me no matter what. I didn't used to use mirrors unless I had to. Most of the time, like my partner did my hair and things like that because looking at myself was so uncomfortable. I had an ex-girlfriend sit me down and she literally said, do you know why we're not together? She goes, because you hate yourself. And until you decide that you're gonna be who you are, nobody wants to be around you. She was 100% right. I didn't even like me, so why would anybody else? And she actually ended up going to the doctor with me. And we kind of started this process as friends, together. There is a lot of influence of my sexuality that actually stems from like my indigenous like upbringing and culture that I didn't really realize or could even name when I was younger. The reality is that we have existed forever. We're here, we're queer. We're born every day and we're gonna be here forever. We're very resilient people. Many of us, including myself, have attempted suicide. Coming out, to my wife was a, a really difficult situation, but we wanted to stay married. We just figured it out. We just negotiated. Being Linda has actually been our journey rather than my journey. I think it's important for me, in order to not feel so heartbroken about this, to look at what I do have in my chosen family and, you know, performers and friends and queer people and trans people. Um, that all of my needs are met and that like, you know, my batteries are charged despite my parents not really having desire to see me this way. Um, it's important for them to know that I am seen this way and I like am this way. When people treat me like a woman, that's when it gets really staticky in my mind and really, really uncomfortable. My approach was to take testosterone and that was the magic thing over a few years. Uh, time, it was just people start started to treat me differently, and that, that's what felt better. So many of us lose everything. I try, well, not to brag, because I have had the opposite experience. You know, it just means I married the right person. So I brought it up again in the kitchen, and she's like, oh dear, I thought you were gonna say it was football. Thank God it's not football. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I want to order some breast forms and you know try this and see what see what we think. Uh, but I don't know what size to order. And she's like, "Well, order my size so you can wear my bras." So totally supportive right there. And I still wouldn't believe her. And she's like, "Look, if you're in an accident and you lost your arm, I would still love you. You grow two boobs, I'd still love you." She still loves me. It's great. I guess I'm just kind of like. Well, I could just keep making my art and pushing and poking until society changes enough that I don't have to change my body for society, they'll catch up. I met Courtney, my wife, and she had only been with men, and she kept calling me her boyfriend. And I said, you know, why, like, is it just because you've been with guys because if you're uncomfortable with this? And she was like, well, no, I, I mean, I don't want to tell you anything about yourself, but you're, just your, your soul just is so masculine to me, I can't help but call you my boyfriend. And I had been on Instagram, seeing a lot of guys um, that had transitioned, and I sat her down and I said, well, I need to talk to you about something, actually, now that you say that. And I told her about what it meant to be transgender, and she basically looked at me like I had said I wanted pizza for dinner. She was like, oh, yeah, okay. 
So anyways, da da da. And I was like, that's it? And she was like, well, duh. Like, no, duh. <laughs> I'm only attracted to men. I really was confused kind of about you, but it made sense because you're just this man to me. And it just, that was 24. I was 24 and my life changed. Uh, within a month, I had a doctor. I had hormones and yeah, the rest is history. This is me now. But yeah, it was all because of Courtney. And I came out later to my mom, but we were in the middle of a really big argument and she called me like a spoiled princess or something. And I was like, I'm not a girl mom. And she was like, well, I don't care. I'm still mad. Yeah, she's like, that's irrelevant to this issue. <laughs> You're still spoiled. So beauty standards are related to how we make ourselves feel, but it also for trans women sets an expectation of like what the world needs to see you as to see you as a woman. I have a lot of respect and endearment for trans femmes who don't adhere to traditional Western um, cis female derived beauty standards um, because it takes a lot of resolve in and of yourself to have to you know, curate your spheres to have people who are from your identity. And now like, I'll walk in anywhere. I'll look in any mirror. I'll let you take my picture. I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel like a person as opposed to a secret.